if you're coming from a SQL background, then you probably know about this uh, coalesce function. Let us try to look at the Power BI documentation. And um, this uh, returns the first expression that does not evaluate to blank. So this is a syntax, uh, coalesce, and followed by all the expressions. You can add any number of expressions too. And this is the definition, any DAX expression that returns a scalar expression. So the written value is a scalar value, a single scalar value that you need to keep in mind. This is an example. Uh, it's pretty easy to understand. It returns 10, obviously. That is the first non-blank value, right? So that is what uh, you have the output for that particular example. This is an another example. So we could uh, use this effectively so that uh, there is a meaningful uh, default or alternate value uh, in your calculation. So let us try to look at a practical example. So this is a matrix and you have your row values, uh, month, year, and also the date. And as you can see, um, the max date is December 2023 and the minimum date is December 2020. On various dates, uh, these are the number of steps uh, on those particular dates. So let us try to create a new measure. So let us try to make it simple. Let us try to name it as a previous month. So let me just type it as a previous month equal to for the calculate uh, function, the expression would be total steps. And uh, let us try to use the previous month function. And uh, let us try to use that. And you can use any of those options, but I'm trying to pick previous month. And it, it, it expects a dates a column. So let us try to pass that and close the parentheses and uh, commit to it. And uh, once we are done with it, we can also format it based on your needs. If you drag this onto the matrix visual, as you can see, all those values are popping up, except the first row as, as highlighted here, December 2020, there's a blank value because the minimum uh, month is December 2020, right? There is no previous month for that. So we want to add a meaningful value to the user here, right? That is where the coalesce function uh, will be handy. So this, uh, by using this, we can kind of uh, for any blank or null values we can provide a meaningful default or fallback value so as shown here this would be our expression one the expression two will be no data so you can uh, write anything based on your needs but i'm trying to make it simple this will be the expression one and no data is the expression two so let us try to commit to it and uh, once we go back to the matrix as you can see, there is some meaningful value there. So uh, it's pretty uh, handy. This function is pretty handy and it's pretty useful. So that way we have some kind of values which uh, will, de will default in case if there are any blank or null values. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.